normally when you submerge yourself into very cold temperatures, your body has what's called a cold shock response. During that cold shock response, your body activates the sympathetic nervous system or the fight or flight system. This causes a release of hormones called norepinephrine and epinephrine. This initially then increases heart rate, constricts blood vessels, and causes more alertness. Then our skin temperature cools rapidly and our body then activates the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the opposite of the sympathetic nervous system. It's the rest and digest system. And with this, our heart rate starts to slow. Our blood flow then gets shunted to the core, right? Where we need to keep ourselves warm and the deep tissues rather than the peripheral tissues. So those start to cool off. And this is essentially to ensure survival, right? Our body is trying to keep our heart and our essential organs perfused when you are in some sort of shock-like situation. Now, during prolonged cold exposure, your body's essentially working to maintain your core body temperature. And in order to do that, it's activating a bunch of metabolic processes so that you can do that and some things will get less attention, right? So potentially the thought here is that if you're doing all these other things to maintain your core body temperature, perhaps your testosterone will decline as well.